Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about the Copenhagen School as an international relations theory. Copenhagen School is a critical branch of security studies in international relations that became more significant for the analysis in the field made after Cold War ended. Copenhagen School is also known as the Securitization Theory and it was first introduced by Barry Buzan, first book People, States and Fear, The National Security Problem in International Relations, published in 1983. The most famous and key figures of the school to date are Barry Buzan, Oli Weaver and Yap de Wilde, and we will make videos for each of them. If you don't want to miss out, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. According to the scholars of the Copenhagen School, securitization is a core concept that needs to be well understood. By the process of securitization, political actors can transform an issue that can only fall under the category of domestic security concerns into a greater version that can be considered a national security issue. Because, similar to constructivists, scholars of the Copenhagen School see certain issues like threats to national security of the states as socially constructed, therefore subject to change, instead of being given as they are. The securitization process works as following. First, an issue or an event is referred as a threat to the state by the political actors through what is called speech act. At this stage, any issue or event can be portrayed as a threat to the state or states, or more academically speaking, the referent objects, and those issues and events do not have to be artificially created. For example, migration or global warming can be portrayed as threats to the existence and security of states through speech acts by political actors. Secondly, any extraordinary measure or action to secure the referent object is carried out on the ground that it is necessary for protection. And lastly, the public, or again, more specifically, the audience, receives the speech act to complete the securitization process. The securitizing actor who basically carries out the whole securitization process has little or no control on how the audience receives the speech act. So, in summary, it is argued that the security is defined through discourse, therefore security is basically what the political actors make of it. What is meant by this discourse or this speech act depends solely on the context. When an issue like migration is labeled as a threat against, let's say, national security by the political actors through discourse, migration becomes a threat against national security and then all extraordinary measures like discrimination against immigrants or even attacking immigrants would be justified since all those measures would be considered a mode of protection of national security. This is what we understand from securitization theory introduced by the Copenhagen School in the 1980s. So that brings us to the end of this very short video about the Copenhagen School in IR. We will continue with Barry Busen as our first representative of the Copenhagen School in our next video. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.